Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Now we'll once again be using the second penitential act. Um, the responses, the two responses are, for we have sinned against you, and grant us your salvation. Once again, the response, the first response is, for we have sinned against you. And the second response is, and grant us your salvation. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful, peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I recall God's works. What I have seen, I will describe. At God's word, were his works brought in and brought into being. They do his will as he has ordained for them. As the rising sun is clear to all, so the glory of the Lord fills all his works. Yet even God's holy ones must fail in recounting the wonders of the Lord. Though God has given these his hosts the strength to stand firm before his glory, he plumbs the depths and penetrates the heart their innermost being he understands. The Most High possesses all knowledge and sees from of old the things that are to come. He makes known the past and the future and reveals the deepest secrets. No, one, no understanding does he lack. No single thing escapes him. Perennial is his almighty wisdom. He is from all eternity one and the same. With nothing added, nothing taken away, no need of a counselor for him. How beautiful are all his works, even to the spark and fleeting vision. The universe lives and abides forever. To meet each need, each creature is preserved. All of them differ one from another, yet none of them has he made in vain. For each in turn, as it comes, is good. Can one ever see enough of their splendor? The word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his, of his mouth, all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea as in a flask. In cellars, he confines the deep. 
by the word of the Lord and the heavens for me. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all who dwell in the world revere him. For he spoke and it was made, he commanded and it stood forth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He drew aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, what do, you want, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Today in our gospel, we have another, uh, another account of a healing miracle by Jesus. Bartimaeus was a blind man, and he hears that Jesus is in town, so he goes, and he begs Jesus to heal him, to have mercy on him. But what's important about all, all not just this um, gospel of healing, of, Je of a healing moment of Jesus, a healing miracle, but all of them, is what he says. To Bartimaeus, the blind man, after he, after he gives him sight, he says, he doesn't say, you're healed, I healed you, you're good. He says, go your way, your faith has saved you. And anytime he heals, usually in, our, in the Gospels, when he heals somebody, um, I think most times it's not all, he says, your faith has saved you. Or he speaks something about their faith. He, he, doesn't, he never says, I have healed you. But he says, your faith, your faith has saved you. And, and of course, after always, they're healed. In this case, the blind man receives his sight. But this goes to show the power of our faith in God. How, how powerful that is. Many times, we can kind of unintentionally look down on, on the power of faith or not recognize the, the immensity or, the, or how important our faith is because we don't see the results of the faith right away sometimes. But the thing is, this blind man was healed because Jesus saw his great faith in God. If this man did not have great faith, he might have not been healed. But Jesus saw it. Jesus saw how faithful this man was, how much faith he had in God, that how much faith he had in Jesus himself, that he could heal him. And he said, your faith has saved you. And so today we reflect on our own faith and how powerful that is, our faith in God and how the more faith we have in our Lord Jesus Christ, the more, the more powerful that is, the more, 
having faith allows God to work more miracles in our lives, whatever kinds of miracles they may be, healing or otherwise. And so today, as we reflect on this gospel of Jesus healing the blind man, we focus not just on the healing, more importantly, on the message that Jesus is giving to us about faith, about how important faith is, of how powerful our love and faith in God is. And so when with that, we reflect on our own faith and how we can strengthen our own faith so that we can have the same amount of faith or more as, as the blind man in our gospel today. Please remain seated. Today's Mass is being offered for the special intention of Mario de la Mora. And the Mass is also being offered for the repose of the souls of Felipe R. Fernandez and Benny Lemos Jr. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion. We ask of your mercy that what you grant as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit to reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 
Can I say the word? Am I so sure? For those joining us through the live stream of the Mass, we will now be making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me, permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For those um, present here physically, um, as we enter the time for Holy Communion, just a few of the regular announcements. Um, since, so, since I will be the only Eucharistic minister, first I will distribute communion to this side, and then um, we'll be this side. So I ask that this side please be patient. Um, and once I'm finished distributing communion to this side, starting from the front, We'll start from the front on this side as well. Other than that, it's the same as usual. Please keep your masks on as you come up and extend your arms as best you can. Um, once you do receive communion, you may take a few steps to the side to take off your mask, consume the Eucharist, and put your mask back on as you re return to your seats for the rest of Mass. Thank you.
nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament by which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.